Emotions play a significant role in influencing one's mental well-being. If one struggles to regulate their emotions, it can result in the development of persistent stress, anxiety, and depression. Those who find it challenging to handle their emotional reactions may also turn to harmful coping strategies, such as excessive eating, substance abuse, or avoidance behaviors, in an attempt to manage their emotional distress, thus intensifying the issue. Emotional responses have the potential to greatly influence the decision-making process. When emotions are heightened, people tend to make impulsive and irrational decisions, often resulting in serious repercussions. A preemie illustration of this is how financial choices made during emotional distress can result in substantial debt and subsequent remorse. Once upon a time, an individual sought guidance from Gautam Buddha on managing their emotions, particularly their struggles with anger and frustration. Buddha, wearing a gentle smile, invited the person to sit down and shared a parable. In a bygone era, there reigned a prosperous king who decided to visit a neighboring kingdom known for its wise ruler. Upon arrival, he received a grand and gracious welcome, complete with a sumptuous feast in his honor. During the feast, the visiting king observed a fly in his soup, which immediately repulsed him. He promptly instructed his servant to bring him a fresh bowl of soup. The host king, witnessing this incident, approached and kindly advised, Your Majesty, please do not let this minor incident provoke your anger. It was just a tiny fly. It need not disturb you. The visiting king responded, I cannot tolerate such matters. Even a minuscule fly has the power to disrupt my mood. The king of the neighboring realm smiled and offered this advice to the monarch. Your Majesty, allow me to provide you with a valuable suggestion. It wasn't the presence of the fly that disrupted your tranquility, but your response to it. Remember, you hold the power to govern your emotions. Don't let them govern you. Recognizing the wisdom in these words, the king returned to his kingdom. From that point forward, he embarked on a journey of mastering the art of non-reactivity. He discovered that he could maintain his composure in challenging situations, leading to weaser decisions. The importance of not reacting swiftly is a vital lesson for all of us. Often, we impulsively respond to situations, which can lead to adverse consequences. Reacting with anger and frustration can harm our relationships and impede clear decision-making. However, it's crucial to understand that not reacting doesn't mean suppressing our emotions. Emotions are a natural part of the human experience and should be acknowledged. Instead of immediate reactions, we should take time to process our emotions and respond thoughtfully. In a different part of the world, there lived a young man named Michael. He was emotionally charged and would often react impulsively to upsetting situations. His outbursts caused arguments and hurt feelings. One day, Michael decided to gain control over his emotions. He realized that his impulsive reactions were doing more harm than good. He began practicing mindfulness and meditation, which heightened his awareness of his thoughts and emotions. He also started cultivating the skill of not reacting. When faced with triggering situations, Michael would step back and take deep breaths. He learned to assess the situation calmly and respond thoughtfully. Initially challenging, he gradually improved his emotional control. His relationships also flourished as he avoided arguments and adopted calm, considerate communication. One day, a friend sought Michael's advice during a difficult time. Michael listened attentively and offered words of comfort and support. His friend commended him, saying, you always have the right words and remain calm. Michael replied, It's not that I never feel anger or upset. I've learned to manage my emotions instead of letting them manage me. It's a potent tool that has enhanced my relationships and well-being. Impressed, Michael's friend asked how he learned this skill. Michael shared his experience with mindfulness and the art of not reacting 
encouraging his friend to give it a try. Over time, Michael became known for his composed and thoughtful demeanor. He handled challenging situations adeptly, gaining admiration for his strength and resilience. The story emphasizes that we have the power to control our reactions. While we can't control external events, we can manage our responses. Practicing mindfulness and the art of not reacting empowers us to improve our relationships, well-being, and overall quality of life. The moral of the stories of the King and Michael reminds us that we possess the ability to control our emotions. By practicing mindfulness and not reacting impulsively, we can learn to govern our emotions and respond thoughtfully. This powerful tool can enhance our relationships and overall well-being. So, let's invest time in honing this invaluable skill and witness the positive transformation in our lives. As long as we harbor resentful thoughts, anger will persist. Letting go of anger is akin to drinking poison and expecting another person to suffer. One who masters self-control surpasses those who conquer thousands on the battlefield. Don't be driven by your reactions. Let your actions guide you. True peace emanates from within. Don't seek it externally. In conflicts, the moment anger arises, the pursuit of truth gives way to self-interest. The mind shapes our reality. What we think, we become. Anger won't punish others, but it will punish you. Suffering roots from attachment. If you wish happiness for others, practice compassion. If you seek your own happiness, do the same. Embracing letting go grants us freedom, and freedom is the key to happiness. Clinging to anger, anxiety, or possessions keeps us captive. One word that brings peace is superior to a thousand empty words. Our thoughts define who we are. Respond with reason, not emotion. In the end, love, composure, and letting go matter most. Recognize the unity of life. Seeing others in yourself and yourself in others with an impartial eye. Sharing happiness never diminishes it. Our thoughts mold us into who we are. Focus on the present as the past is gone and the future is yet to come. Some things can't remain concealed. The sun, the moon, and the truth. To find true happiness, release your attachments to people and things. The mind is the key, what you think, you become. It's your own mind, not external forces, that lead you astray. Turn your ideas into actions to make a difference. Passion ignites like fire, hatred bites like a shark, folly traps like a snare, and greed rushes like a torrent. Our thoughts shape our reality. What we think, we become. If you want to soar, shed your burdens. To change the world, change yourself first. Happiness is a product of your actions. Remember, time is limited. A turbulent mind obscures, while a calm mind brings clarity. The tongue, like a sharp knife, wounds without drawing blood. Rather than imitating the wise, seek their goals. Purity or impurity stems from oneself. No one can purify another. Be thankful for each day, for each day's lessons. If you didn't learn much, at least you learned something. If you didn't learn something, at least you stayed healthy. If you got sick, at least you're still alive. Gratitude is the way. The true failure is failing to stay true to one's best knowledge. The past is gone. The future is yet to come. The present moment is all we have. Diligence leads to life, while idleness leads to demise. The wise are diligent. The foolish are idle. Hatred is dissolved only through love. This is the timeless law. What you continually think about becomes the direction of your awareness. Stay in the present moment, as dwelling in the past and dreaming of the future won't serve you. Your mind shapes your reality. Your thoughts determine who you become. Seek no savior outside yourself. Walk your own path. You alone can do it. 
The importance of maintaining emotional composure and mastering the art of emotional control cannot be overstated. Proficiency in managing one's emotional reactions is pivotal to fostering stronger relationships, achieving professional success, preserving one's mental well-being, and fostering greater societal harmony. Tackling this genuine challenge necessitates self-awareness, learning, and a dedication to personal development and emotional intelligence. Embarking on this journey is indeed a worthwhile endeavor, leading to a more satisfying and prosperous life. If you found this information useful, kindly give us a thumbs up to support our mission of reaching a broader audience interested in ancient wisdom. If you're new to our channel, consider subscribing and clicking the notification bell for additional lessons on ancient wisdom. We appreciate your viewership and we look forward to seeing you in our upcoming video. To access more content, you can select one of the videos displayed on your screen at this moment.